Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The War of Genesis, Battle of Antaria, for free. This is your host, River Foxen, and uh, we're back to continue with the story of Act 5. All right, so let's uh, continue on, and we'll go with Act 5, Chapter 3, Silver Arrow. Phew, I barely made it on time. Your Highness, General Arshia. Oh, gods, thank you for your blessings and help. Thank you. We were able to battle without any worries because we had the accountable Templars in, on our side. That's right, we're a team. Ha-ha! It looks like Silver Arrow's glorious days are returning once again. Silver Arrow, Your Highness, I suggest you to declare the return of the Silver Arrow Alliance. I'm sure we will be able to march on to Pendragon at this pace. Well... Hmm... Do you think I have the right to command the Alliance? Of course, your highness. We're all here because of you. Pandragon has always been the center of the Silver Arrow. That's the reason why we're here together. Our time has come to regain Pandragon. You're the only one who can do this, your highness. Hmm. Okay, as you wish. I will accept your counsel. Let's gather under the flag of Silver Arrow once again and drive the Empire troops from our land. Ballroom. That night, a banquet was held to celebrate the victory in the Battle of Astania and the return of the Silver Arrow Alliance. As the mood was in full swing, a ball has started. The partner that Aeolan chose is... Gee, I wonder... Of course. Err. Is the banquet not to your liking? Aha, uh -huh. it's lively. It's just a little awkward for me. A normal ranger would never imagine himself to be involved in a series of events like this. Well, GS, you are a very special ranger. A special ranger for, for Pendragon and for me. Aeolan. You surprised me once again on the dance floor. The St. Raywood Waltz is a dance only taught to chosen members of the royal families. Have you, by any chance, gotten your memory back? I don't know. When I was dancing, my body moved on its own. It felt like my memories were back. But, as always, when I try to remember my past, I feel like I'm wandering in a fog. Yeah. G.S., if you were to remember all of your past, you will have to return to your place, right? Your Highness, I mean, Aeolan, I, lo I will always stay by your side, no matter who I was in the past. Is that to show your loyalty towards me because I'm the princess, or because of your sense of duty as a ranger? Otherwise... Aeolan. G.S. Aeolan, you wanted me to become a true friend. Then tell me. Your true feelings. That's... I pledge to give up anything and everything to seek revenge on the Empire. No one, even you, GS, can sway me away from my decision. If I have to kill you for Pendragon, I will certainly plunge a knife deep into your heart. Aeolan. I can't be swayed like this. Not this far into my pledge. I will forget what happened today. I hope you do too. A Aeolan, I know you are just a person wishing for a happy life. 
I can't help but to notice your broken heart. How can you tell me to forget it? Ooh. Alright. And I need to go fight a level 36 monster in order to move on. Alright. Okay. Well. Hmm. We get some kills. Wind, ice, fire. Ooh, no kills. <laughs> Not like there. He didn't do a lot of damage. This guy's gonna attack everybody, right? Nope, nope, just one person. Well, now we can start getting some kills. Let's see here. Let's kill that guy. And then you kill that guy. Ooh, he has a resistance. Alright. Kill him so he doesn't get a turn. Oh, he revives. That's right. Alright. Now you kill him. And then maybe him. Nope. Try again. Alright. Now we move on to the second wave. All right, you're going to summon this. Hopefully I get some stuns. Oh, it didn't look like it. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. And he's going to heal? Yep. All right. Well, you triple elemental blast. Interesting thing about that character, and I'll talk about it after this. Ooh, she is weak. All right. Do Shape of Pain. Into the moon. All right, and then you're going to do Blizzard Storm. Blizzard Storm. And then you're going to attack that guy. Oh, that's right. I didn't bring a healer. I was like, when's my healer coming up? <laughs> So the thing about Cameo is that uh, she's not a new character. She's actually a redesign of an older character who was um, much larger. Kind of interesting. Ooh, I'm level 30 now. And got a level 36 Marit. And Cameo gained a level. All right, now let's go back to the archive room and continue on with the story. We can now do Act 5, Chapter 4, Secret Envoy of Change. After declaring the return of the Silver Arrow at the banquet, the Silver Arrow is planning to strike the Empire. Drop near is planning to get help from Bifrost to get a strategic advantage against the Empire. Your help has been tremendous so far, but I'd like to ask for your help once again. Chancellor, it would be my pleasure. Please, what would you ask of me? We are in your debt. We want you to visit Bifrost as a secret envoy. Hmm. A secret mission? What would be my task? I ask you to persuade Earl Mosel to help us. Bifrost has traditionally maintained its neutrality, so they tend not to not interfere with other nations' affairs. Even if Earl Mosel is friendly to us, he will face public opposition. We're not asking him to fight with us. We just want him to cause a distraction near the borders of Trissus. I don't expect the Earl will reject our request. It should be enough for our objective. All right, I will do my best. I hope it goes well. 
It is very unusual for the Trissus to be isolated. We will have to make the best out of this opportunity. It's worth considering desert warfare. Yes, I will get ready and depart as soon as possible. The next day. G.S., where are you headed to? Why do you always act alone? I want you to join us. Your Highness, G.S. is on a very important task this time. What could be more important than staying with us? Rashid, all the work G.S. is doing is for us. You've got to understand. Your Highness, I know you are upset because I can't be with you. Though this, is, this task will take some time. I'll surely be able to tell you a lot of stories when I get back. Wouldn't you like that? Well, I would like that very much. Ha ha ha. We should be at Thunder Doom Fortress by the time you get back. We'll either march to Trissus or change the plan. We'll decide once you receive a response from Bifrost. You can count on me. Ha ha. I wasn't trying to burden you. But I want you to know that the princess, my paladins, and everyone in the Silver Arrow Alliance believes in you. Farewell, my friend. Hmm, a lowly ranger. How about not coming back at all? Look, Carno, you promised to be nice to GS. Your Highness, please forgive me. Ha 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 ha. Princess Aeolan. GS. Once again. Aha, uh -huh. I will complete my mission and see you when I return. Alright. And let's see, so now I to go on I need to defeat a level 36 El Gennaro. So let's move on with that. Alrighty. Alright, so first wave, triple elemental blast. Uh, nothing died, but I got a second turn, so I can kill something. Hopefully you. Oh. Alright, let's kill you. And then that. Alright, second turn. And let's try and get some stuns. Yes. All right. Going to try. Okay, we got a stun on her. Let's see if we can kill him. No, nope, no, nope, not just yet. Hmm. Yeah, things are getting a little bit tougher. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. It can only heal itself. No, I don't want a shape of pain, just want to attack. All right. Now on to the main event. All right, let's see here. This you just attack. You're gonna do triple elemental blast. And then you're gonna do shape of pain. All right, and then you're gonna do blizzard storm and hopefully Kill these robots on the side. Oh, killed one of them. Yep, attack. Finish off that one. 
Alright. Now you got triple elemental blast. Alright. And you just attack. And then you attack. And you as well. Um let's see here. Let's uh do the regen and healing. Attack. And then you attack. Ah, it's almost dead. And there we got it. And Cameo got another level up. She's the only one who can level up right now because the... Actually, Kuhn could level up. Um, but, uh, I think she's leveling up because she's, like, a special character for the moment. Um, they, like, cycle different characters. Because Kuhn used to get the level ups when she was the, uh, featured character. Alright, let's, uh, go back to the story. And now we have... Act 5, Chapter 5, The Cost of Loyalty. After GS leaves for Bifrost, Silver Arrow advances toward Pendragon at an unbelievable speed. Grium returns to Pendragon after his failed mission to conquer Estania. He swallows his pride and sends a messenger to Baradin at the Dark Castle for assistance. However... What a fool! How can a man be this foolish? I told him to follow my orders. Of course, we'll need to reprimand him, but we have more urgent matters at hand. At this pace, they will target Pandragon and eventually the Empire. Sigh. Carls, do you think I'm a fool? I don't want to punish Grim. I want him out of the way. If he had successfully conquered Astania, he would have tried to be independent from the Empire. There will be no reinforcements. My lord! Hunting dogs are useless once they start to act on their own. Tell him that it's his responsibility to make up for his mistakes. My lord, do you mean to give up Pendragon? It's just a kingdom out of many that we occupy. There is no need for you to worry. However... If you give up Pendragon, they will be in proximity to our Imperial territory. I'm worried about how they will act since their morale is high. If they were to advance on the Empire, Kasim of Trissus will be the first to teach them a lesson. And if Kasim battles in the desert, I doubt there is anyone in the continent who can defeat him. Don't worry, Carls. Everything is moving according to my will. Hmm. I will take matters in uh, take care of matters in Bifrost myself. Yes, my lord. At the Pendragon capital. No reinforcements. Defend Pendragon with your life. This is your chance to redeem yourself. There is no honor in retreat. Imperial Chancellor Baradin. Baradin, how low can you get? I have given the Empire my utmost loyalty my entire life. Is this how he rewards me? Lord Baradin must be furious that we disobeyed his commands and attacked Astania on our own. Even before he was the Imperial Chancellor, I was a general. Baradin has been as proud as a peacock ever since the Dark Prince had disappeared. Hmm. General, it is near impossible to protect Pendragon without reinforcements. We must pre pre yeah. prepare for a retreat. Lobel, even though it's a command from that filthy Baradin, it is also on behalf of the Empire. Make sure to gather all remaining troops to the plain. Huh, sir? We will fight until the end. If we win, we will save ourselves and be honored. But if we lose... 
We will take our honor to our graves. Uh, y yes, sir. I will prepare. <sighs> He's completely out of his mind. I don't want to die. I will be in big trouble if I don't do something. Fight to your heart's content, Grim. I'm not ready to die just yet. <laughs> All right. And we'll move on to Act uh, 5, Chapter 6, Regrain Regaining. Man, I cannot speak today. Regaining Pandragon next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later. <laughs>